I'd be coming by in the bus because we do the course out of the UBC Learning Exchange just two blocks from Hastings on Main Street. So I would see it every day and uh, they weren't doing anything with it. It sat vacant, like, well, unused for three years. Like it was just growing weeds, and everything was falling apart. So I started asking last year and I found out Soul Foods had the lease and they said they were going to fix it up because it was dangerous for their workers to use, they need to fix it up. And then this year I asked again because they still hadn't done anything. And this year they said they were relinquishing the site. Then I started contacting uh, the owners, who were the owners of the Astoria Hotel, and they were really supportive. But it took us like six weeks to negotiate all the details. So we got access to the site on May 11th, which was the day that we started the field school. So I was teaching full time while we totally rebuilt this. There were 138 12 by 4 foot beds in here. We had to take them all apart, take out the good wood. We buried the bad wood under the ground, buried the weeds, and then we planted each one step by step from the back towards the front all the way. It took a long time. It took a lot of work for volunteers. There were over 70 volunteers worked on this site. They weren't all here at once. I mean, the most you'd ever have is like 12 or something, but um, we needed them all, like people were just working uh, every day. I, I couldn't come until 2, we didn't start until 2 because I was teaching in the mornings. Mm -hmm. So, but we were here every day, seven days a week, rain or shine. There were times, you know, when we first started out, you think, how in the world could we ever do this? Like, just so much work. But when you're here and there's 12 people come to work four hours, like, you think, wow, you can really do things. So that was amazing. There were a lot of people that were uh, out of work. Uh, there were a lot of students. There were a lot of retired people that, that worked just really hard. So between all of them, they, they accomplished a lot. So the farm is producing food for the downtown east side neighborhood house for their lunch programs. They're also sending boxes of food to families in the neighborhood. Um, so it's coordinated with those with the lunch programs and um, when we started because of the pandemic uh, they've been feeding four times as many people as they had previously um, and it was kind of a crisis everybody you know at the beginning of the pandemic people were hoarding food there was like concern of whether there would even be enough food so like i felt that if they were going to continue to serve people and you know, feed people in this neighborhood that somebody should help provide them with some of that food. So that's what we did.